Oh, I'd love it if you'd come up. Good morning. Oh, here's Adeline, too. Hi, Adeline. Good morning. How is everybody? Hey, have you ever seen this book? Did you ever read The Rainbow Fish? Yeah? With Miss Kara, she did. So this book is about the most beautiful fish in the ocean. And we're going to put it up on the slides, too, so everybody can see what we're looking at. Yeah, it's about the most beautiful fish in the ocean. And notice here that it has scales of all different colors. Do you see different colors, pink and blue? And I like pink. I like pink. Pink is outstanding. But it also has glittery and shimmery scales. So you know what? This fish thought, I am the most beautiful fish in the ocean. I'm the greatest. You know what, though? He was also kind of proud and a bit selfish. Hmm. He thought he was too good to play with any of the other fish in the ocean. Well, one day, this little blue fish doesn't have any pretty scales. Said, would you share just one of your shiny scales with me? But guess what Rainbow Fish said? No way. I'm not going to share. All he cared about was being the greatest, the most beautiful. He didn't want to share with the little fish. Do you think the other, what do you think the other fish thought of him? He thought they... Yep, the other fish probably thought he was selfish and a show-off. People don't so much love a show-off, huh? So, hmm, let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, look, Adeline. So suddenly he sees this very wise octopus. And the octopus says to him, you know what, rainbow fish, if you want to be the greatest, then you need to be the least. You need to think about changing your heart and being loving and serving others. And that'll make you the greatest. So you got to give your scales away. Wonder what happens. Let's see. So, oops, I missed a page. So the little blue fish came back. And you know what? Rainbow fish had a change of heart. He thought, maybe it's not my outside beauty that matters. Maybe it matters that I share and love in my heart. And so he gave one of his scales to that little fish. And then all the other fish came running, and they wanted a scale too. And what do you think he did? He gave them all away. He shared. And in the end, here he is. He only has one shiny scale left. He's not the most beautiful anymore. But how do you think he feels? He feels good because he shared. That's right. So this book, this story, reminds me a lot of something that Jesus told his disciples. One day he heard them arguing about which one of them was going to be greatest in his kingdom. And you know what he said? If you want to be the greatest, if you want to be first, you need to be what? Last. last. Excellent. If you want to be first, you've got to be last. And so he said that the most important thing is to think of others first and ourselves last. That to be great in God's kingdom, we need to be humble and serve others. So let's pray about that. Dear Jesus, help us remember that to be the greatest in your kingdom, we must be willing to serve and to be the least. Teach us to be humble servants. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have a worship folder. Thanks for coming up.